Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Stravens. So I hope you guys have been having a great weekend and enjoying that free DLC which David Van Der Haar had announced a few days ago. So if you guys don't really know about this, I'm pretty sure most people actually know about this right now, but there, the DLC from uh, the first release, which is Awakening, is now available to play for free over the weekend. Well, it's really like four days from April 1st to April 4th. And, uh, you know, that's definitely something which is pretty cool. You know, I wish Call of Duty uh, and, you know, all the developers did a lot more of that will definitely get a lot more people playing the game more consistently uh, but anyway just jumping to the free DLC essentially you can play uh, all the four new multiplayer maps and the zombies map and to top that uh, what they've done is they've also doubled the XP you can earn so uh, you know that's definitely a pretty cool deal now enough of the free DLC like I said I hope you guys have been enjoying it I just want to jump into the uh, the new extension 2 pack which is the DLC 2 pack to map pack which was announced and they're calling it eclipse now this arrives on april 19th for uh, the playstation which i'm assuming uh, it's going to be released on the xbox and the pc uh, about a month later now this map pack again uh, you know it just continuing the vein of uh, all the other dlcs it pretty much has four new multiplayer maps one of it is uh, one of the maps is definitely a remake and uh, it's a world of uh, world at war uh, you know reimagined map called banzai which is pretty exciting you know a lot of people i know are huge fans uh, of world at war and uh, they're definitely something you know that they're looking forward to uh, now the rest of the maps uh, if you look at them you know they're pretty interesting i mean i've taken a look at uh, some of the maps uh, i've looked at some videos like verge for example is the map which i was talking about which is the reimagined map uh, you know it's definitely uh, you know a very interesting map when you actually look at the videos over it you know there's water sources there's key bridge areas uh, you know there's a fortress and a tunnel system which means you know you know there's some underground play there's some water play and there's an over the surface play you know so it's pretty interesting the one which was visually the most stimulating for me was called spire you know spire is definitely like a super futuristic it's like an orbital airport which is pretty amazing uh, you know it's a terminal set essentially uh, right up in the sky uh, you know it but it looks like it's definitely a mid-range combat uh, map and you know it's something which uh, you need to consider because uh, apparently there's also places where you can fall off all over the map so that's definitely something you want to consider because if you have a sort of like a, a you know a helter skelter kind of like a run and gun uh, you know style to your play you definitely want to consider you know treading carefully now rift is another map which they have just released it's a military complex again it's futuristic it's uh, you know again high above the ground just like spire uh, but you know not really in the clouds but definitely high above the ground um, and there seems to be you know there's a lot of tight places to, to play in and uh, you know it definitely seems like you know you can use a rail system which they have uh, which uh, which is pretty interesting so I wonder if there's something where you can actually get on a rail system and actually move through it because I know that previous uh, Call of Duty has had something like that where you can actually uh, get on it and then actually uh, move through it because Ghost if you remember one of the maps actually had you get on a rail system and you can actually move through that so that would be pretty cool and then you have Knockout which is pretty much in an old uh, Shaolin temple but there's a twist on it it is supposed to be a knockout set uh, you know for like a kung fu tournament with guns uh, you know I'm just like uh, you know I'm pretty you know surprised that they would do something like this but you know you know let's see how it actually goes you know this might be something pretty interesting but there you go those are the four uh, new maps uh, obviously the zombie map and I don't really play a lot of zombies but the new zombie map is actually now going to be taking you to the Pacific Islands it's called uh, Zetsubu no Shima I mean, I hope I'm not butchering that name, but that's pretty much, uh, you know, them taking the uh, next chapter of the zombie accomplice and, you know, they're moving forward with it. So, you know, that's definitely something interesting to look forward to. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys are, uh, you know, buying the DLC or not. Uh, for me, someone like me who's actually puts out gameplays and stuff, it definitely made sense because I'm a lot more active now on my channel. So I went for the DLCs, uh, but you know, it's something for you to consider. Definitely take advantage of uh, the Awakening DLC being released for free. Uh, you know, it's something that uh, you know you don't really get too often because you know Call of Duty now seems to be, uh, you know, moving for towards a pay for a service kind of like uh, area where you are paying for every part. 
part of the DLC. So, you know, take advantage of free stuff when it comes your way. Well, hope you guys are having a great weekend and enjoying uh, the double XP and the DLC content, guys. Take it easy and see you in another video.